Hello everybody, in this video I will show you a rather simple magnet array but with very interesting properties. So what you see here are just four neodymium cube magnets, 15 mm in size, encased in a copper 3D printed um, yeah, holder. This is of course just plastic, not real copper. And the way I arrange these magnets is that on the top half here, these two magnets are facing south pole inwards and the bottom part here, these two magnets are facing north pole inwards, which equals in a very interesting field with special properties that I haven't shown you before in any other videos. And I will show you in this video all the details and how you can modify it and how this even makes the field more interesting. So let's start off and show you with a magnetic viewing film what the field of this array looks like. So as you can already see, this is the top view of it. And you can see that we have basically here two fields, one here and one here, which are separated by this white line, which is called dielectric inertial plane, also block wall. This is just an area where basically the two polarities are separated and where we have no measurable magnetic flux. And by the way, since people keep asking me how this viewing film is called, it's called Color Gradient Magnetic Viewing Film. Just type it in on Google or any other search engine and you will find plenty of results on where to purchase it. And the way this viewing film works is it shows the field strength in various colors. So the brighter the color is, like here, the weaker the field strength is. It starts from yellow to green to blue to black. So black, strongest field strength, highest magnetic flux. And also, as you can see here in the center, there is no color. It's the same color as the outside here, just the color of the viewing film itself. If I go closer to it, you can see it starts out with these two points here. If I go a bit further away, you can see these points grow. And then at the center here, we have this area where we have no magnetic flux. Here we have no measurable magnetic flux. And this will be even more interesting if I just take it from the side here and take the field viewer like this and hopefully I can show you this quite well. Yep, you can see this area. Oops, I have to get it really right. And now you can see this area, I, I call it the equator of the array, which is around here where we have these two slits. They are made intentional to show you later why. And yeah, you can see here is really no magnetic flux or magnetic field in the midst of all of this yeah, magnetic field. And of course, on the other side, it is exactly the same here. And I made these slits so I can insert this viewing film as well. And you can probably see the white line right on the edge of the viewing film. And now you can see inside of the slit as well on camera, but I can. And if I just follow this white ring, like let me show it like this. I know it's not that easy to show on camera, but you can see this, this white ring like this. That goes around in a circle around this array. So what makes this array so special is that we have the block wall or dielectric dielectric inertial plane going around here on the outside like a ring around this array here 
and here in the center we have the magnetic field of course also on the outside but yeah i think it's interesting that i will just um, show you the field here in a more three-dimensional view that you can, can you can even view it better you can see the area that is grayed out where we have no magnetic flux yeah, and it's really interesting that this area is here on the outside i haven't seen this with any other magnet array configuration like this again i will just show you the array here from the top so you can get a better idea of what the overall feed looks like of course on the other side it looks the same and as this magnet array is right now, the field is symmetrical. It's the same on both sides. It looks exactly the same on both sides. But this will change later on when I add more magnets to it. But this will be later in the video, so stay tuned. It will get even more interesting. But for now, I will show you a slight modification of it. And what I did here, it is the exact same array, but to the center I've agnet, added a sphere magnet, also a neodymium one, and its orientation is obviously um, aligned with these magnets. And the field doesn't look that different. You can see, if I view it like this, and I'm not right on the top of the array itself, it looks kind of the same. If I go down, right on the array, you can see here on the center, we get an additional field. This is from the sphere. So you can get a better idea of what it looks like. And also, if you view this from the side, you can see, let me go view it from the other side so we get less reflections. Hopefully I can show you this quite well. You can see here on the outside here, we also have here magnetic flux. But yeah, you can basically see the ring itself where we have no magnetic flux. It is completely encased within the magnetic field, which is really interesting. Just for comparison, the other array, it looks different. Like here on the center part, on the outside here, here it's all no magnetic flux or no magnetic field at all. And what I can also do is I'll just take an additional 50 millimeter cube magnets like the ones I have here and insert it here at the top part. I have to get it right. As you can see, it will be attracted really hard onto here and I have to place it in the opposite polarity of these ones like this and then the magnet will just stay there by itself. So it is the opposite polarity here than what it is here. And I will also do the same here on the bottom side. It's not that easy, let me tell you. Just to even get the polarity right and force them in there. Just because, whoops. Yeah, made it. Just because these 50 millimeter cube magnets are so damn strong. They're, they're really, really strong. And yeah, now I managed to do it. They will just stay in place like this. Not perfectly, but yeah, well enough. And then I'll just show you under the magnetic viewing film. You can see the field has altered a lot. And what's really interesting about this is, as just watch the, the, the plane of inertia, or let's just call it the white line, 
as it changes in regards to the feel itself like it was before. If I just go a bit away from the viewing film or from, from the array, you can see this bends like an S. So I will show you like this, I'm just moving the field viewer up and down a bit and you can see the field itself, it's like twisted. And on this side, it's like an S. Then if I just turn it around 180 degrees, you will see it looks kind of similar. But not the same anymore. It's not like an S, it's more like a 2. So it is the opposite now. It's twisted in the opposite direction. So the field now, just by adding two more magnets here, is not symmetrical in any way anymore. It's the opposite um, twisting direction on this side, then on this side. Sorry. And yeah. I think that's quite interesting and what I then did is I made an additional magnet array which is the same, it looks a lot different because now I use 8 magnets instead of 4 or 6 but underneath the viewing film you can already get the idea that is, it is very similar. So what I did here is also these two magnets are just south pole facing inwards and these two magnets are north pole facing inwards and I also added here and here these two magnets that I just added on the other array before but additionally I also added here on the sides two additional magnets which are also facing in here and here like this and this just um, yeah, additionally adds to the twisting of the field, as you can see here. I'll just place the field viewer on top of it like this, so you can hopefully get a better idea. You can see with these green lines out here, uh, yeah, <laughs> well known and interesting pattern. I won't name it in the video for obvious reasons, but you can get the idea. If I go a bit further away, you can see already how the field itself is twisting. And of course, if I just take the array, turn it to the other side, you can see now it is twisting in the opposite direction again. Other than that, it looks the same. And if we view it from the side, we still get this ring around here, which is also kind of interesting. And yeah, one very interesting property of these arrays is their, let's say, if you just um, let me just take the big one because the magnets are stronger and the effect is the most obvious. If you just hold it like this, let's say around the equator, and imagine the center point is at the fixed pivot point, and then you just rotate it like this, you will feel a really strong push and pull against Earth's magnetic field. It the, the effect will be very obvious and I've given it to other people who are not that sensitive to magnetic fields like I am and all of them confirm to me that they can immediately feel it. So just take the array and just yeah, turn and twist it a bit like this or rotate it and you will very strongly feel an interaction with Earth's magnetic field. You will feel that there is a resistance like moving it in this direction but then if you go around here it's almost like it's pulled here. Similar to a rotating object. If you have a spinning flywheel it wants to process at a certain path 
but if you go against that path you, feel, you will feel a resistance if you follow that path it will go easier than it normally would and it feels similar to that if you add these two magnets the effect will be even stronger and yeah you will feel this even stronger if you don't and just do it with four of these magnets doesn't matter if you add the center magnet or not i don't feel a strong difference but even just with four of these magnets you also can make it with smaller magnets you will feel this effect really strong with this magnet arrays and this is just something i personally think it could be i don't know if it is actually because of that but i think this is because of this ring that is forming around this magnet array and by far the strongest effects you get with this array i think um, if you just look at it and view it you see this strong twist within the field on both sides and if you just take it like this the effect is like really really crazy strong this is just something interesting to play with i think i will upload the 3d printing files so you can build these magnet arrays yourself like these are just 10 millimeter cube magnets i use neodymium magnets of the strongest grade n52 so obviously the stronger the magnets the stronger the effects so i hope you could learn something useful or new within this video and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you have a lovely rest of your day so thanks for watching and goodbye